You know, my dad actually got this for me, so... Kapkunka! Uh, hey, my name is Javi, and that is gonna get annoying real quick, let me just... Hey, my name is Javi, and welcome to Failbox 11! Failbox stands for fan mail, and at the end of every month... Or at the beginning of every month... I take a look at what you guys sent to my P.O. Box. And of course, that's P.O. Box 3290, California 90651. Now, before we take a look at what you guys sent me for the month of April, just a little disclaimer, once again, just like last month's Failbox, I'm only gonna take a look at five letters this time, because just look at that. That went from two videos to like a whole week of videos. We I know you guys don't watch that part. I've already pre-selected five letters from you guys, so our first letter of the day comes from a Christian Greenwell. And he's from Kentucky. That's adorable. I bet that is. And to ensure that I edit this video and get it released on goddamn time, I will read all of your letters off camera, but provide a little summary about what it said so your words don't get lost. So, Christian, I'm glad that you enjoyed my link reviews and thank you for being subscribed since August 2017. Hey, have a little fan. Our next one's from a Samuel Ark. And this one's from Kansas. Nice Optimus Prime there. Okay, thank you very much, Samuel Ark. Thank you very much for your letter, even though you are uh, not a big boy. And thank you for sticking with me since 2016, you 13 year old. Boy, sub to his YouTube channel. Well, just saying that in a letter is not really gonna do anything. You know, people actually have to click your channel and see if the content is for them. But sub to his channel if you enjoy his content. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, he has a few pieces of fan art and I assume he is just shoving his OCs down my throat. Was that an SCP? And his best attempt at my mask. Eh, close enough. This one is from Jaden, addressed to Jobby the Slob, and I picked this one specifically because it looks like a little kid trying to threaten my life. Thank you for this thing you made, and 1,000... <laughs> Thank you very much, Jaden, for sticking with me since 1,000 subs, and God damn it, he's 12. I'm glad that I could be the one to introduce you to the wonderful world that is Evangelion. Glad you enjoyed it. I certainly didn't. And you have a few questions for me. Uh, number one, have you watched Prison School? No. Number two, will you draw a Kill a Kill waifu? I get that you're 12, but, but you can't be fucking retarded. Number three, can you open that forbidden box? I don't know what you're talking about. And we have some fan art. Yes. More, yes, hmm, I do, hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, Good job, we'll just move on, please stop watching. <laughs> Whatever, as I've said many times before in the past, I can't control what you guys watch, but God damn it, parents who are watching this video, keep an eye on what your children are watching, Jesus. This one has a lot of bullshit on the back of it, though. So this one's from a Vinny, and it's from Illinois. The back of the envelope is really not much to go on. I mean, it looks like the ravings of a bad man. What, did Pedro write this? When you look at the front of it, really nice use of color and it attracted my eye, so... Okay, thank you very much, Vinny, who is Cy What on DeviantArt and Instagram. And yes, Vinny, just to confirm, I have seen Panny and Stalking with Garter Belt. That ending, though, fuck off, Gainax. Who gives a shit about Fully Cooly Season 2. We want more panty and stocking, goddammit. And I appreciate your sentiments about my artwork. Thank you very much for enjoying those pieces. And you know what? Maybe in the future I'll look into selling original prints. And I know you'll be there. Thank you very much for that. And you are 17 years old. You're... You're edging there. We have a stocking. Had a really nice note. And here we just have an... An ass. <laughs> and our final letter of the day is from a William Bruning. He is from New Zealand. Oh, that's why you spammed the Vegemite comments on my Facebook page. And on the back here it says, open it with the shirt. We'll open it after. Hey there, up few goes collectibles. Thank you very much, William Bruning. Of all the things that you could have sent me, why the hell didn't you send me Vegemite? Oh, it says right here. Shipping was as high as when my 3D printer breaks down. All right. All right. He photoshopped my logo on a bunch of lizards. Haha. -ha. Some humanized Transformers fan art. That, that is actually amazing. <laughs> His red bubble shop, Captain Meme Lord. YouTube channel called Mega Will Bot. And he's 16 in July. <laughs> I don't know, leave down in the comments of that if I should consider that a big boy or not. No. Let's take a look at that shirt that he sent me. Red bubble sticker, and here we are. This is such a shitty meme, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> Would this somehow be a grossly offensive shirt would i be arrested in the uk leave a comment down below i don't see why i would come on man equal rights oh shit and this thing comes from matt d lombardo and he's from new york ah 
I've seen this before. Well, thank you very much, Matt, and congratulations on being a certified big boy at the age of 19. And good on you for studying paleontology in Montana. It's kind of funny. Uh, one of the first things that I wanted to do when I was growing up was actually become a paleontologist. I was super into dinosaurs when I was a kid, so I do recognize some of the binomial nomenclature that you're spitting here. And when I was a fat 10 year old little boy, I did a little bit more research into the field of paleontology. And then I realized that you would have to stay in the sun and dig for rocks. And then I dropped out and became a YouTuber. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> so he's included some artwork of the Utah Raptor Ostromesorum. I most definitely messed that one up. And a Beasts of the Mesozoic Dromaeosaurus Albertensis. That one had to be a little closer, right? I smart. And if any of you guys are interested in some posable dinosaur figures, the rest of them are available at the creator's website, creativebeast.com. Follow Matt on Twitter at MattLombardo98. And now we're going to move on to our boxes. Oh, so the first box of the day comes from a Kevin Kozak, and he's from Switzerland. Actually, we should put this off to the side. Be more thematically appropriate. Two figures and a letter. Okay, thank you very much, Kevin Kozak. And thank you for sticking with me since February 2017. And you know the funny thing about the figure that you sent is that I actually do not have that. I mean, it's a shame that I didn't have this for the Digivolving Spirits Medical Rurumon review that I already did. Check that out if you want. But it's nice to have the original figure, so thank you very much for that. And we have a second thing. Ooh! So this is how it looks like. This is the Deluxe Class Starscream from the movie. This one doesn't seem to have a name on it. Oh, uh, this... <laughs> that hurt me more than it hurt the box. Got a letter, of course. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Rico, of the Brett and Rico Super Show. And apparently the thing that he sent me is a completed Gundam Gripe model, which I've never heard of. That is some backpack. And it is painted and panel lined. According to the letter, though, this is not his best work because they are experiencing a winter in Michigan. But I gotta say, just by looking at this, it looks pretty damn good. If you want to see more of Rico's Gundam work, you can check him out on Instagram. That is L. Suavenero, and check out his YouTube channel if you'd like. This one comes from a Josh Crum, and he's from Tennessee. Oh, okay, well, first of all, we have a NECA Godzilla. I forget which Godzilla this is, but it has that really nice lighting effect painted on it. Atomic breath for that Godzilla. And we have, holy crap. This is obviously custom made. Oh, Josh Crum. Josh Crum actually sent me another Infinity Gauntlet in another P.O. Box video. This one is his current version, and it looks like it's based on the, the movie that just came out, which I have seen, by the way, and I might do a video on it. It left a deep impact on me. Thank you very much, Josh, for putting in so much hours of work into this thing. I mean, can't you tell? And thank you very much for the Godzilla figure. But... Joshua, you fool. I am unstoppable now. What have you done? And just as quickly as the snap of a finger, we're already on our final three packages. Isn't that lovely? You may be sad that the video is coming to an end soon, but at least the video will actually come out. This one is from Japan, and I have a good idea about who's this from, but let's open it just to confirm. Holy crap, it's huge. Woo, boy. My boy, Brayden. Thank you very much for the SH Monster Arts Godzilla from Monster Planet. Brayden, I do not know where you get the spare change to get shit like this for me, but I highly appreciate it every time. And for those of you who don't know, Brayden uh, sent me several other Godzilla figures in the past, like the SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla and also the SH Monster Arts Ava Godzilla. I am doing this guy's wallet a disservice for not taking a look at them. God damn it, I, you deserve it, man. I really gotta up the volume of Godzilla reviews and reviews in general. This one comes from a Dwight Carter and he's from Maryland. Ah. Got a letter. Oh, shoot, boy. Oh! Oh, it won't stop. Keep up the good work. Been watching your videos since 2016. Don't rush perfection with your videos and wish you the best towards gold. Little fun fact, at the time of this recording, I still haven't seen Pacific Rim Uprising. But by this point, Pacific Rim 2 is out of the theaters, I think, which means it probably didn't do so well at the box office, which ultimately means... Rest in peace, Pacific Rim. But at least we got some cool designs and toys from it while it lasted. Thank you, Guillermo del Toro. And thank you, Dwight. <laughs> and our final box of the day. Ah! P.O. box is really drying up nowadays, isn't it? I recognize this name, Richard Moy. And he's from New Jersey. Richard. 
Richard, Richard, Richard. Oh my god, my heart. My Kokoro go doki doki. Do you understand what that means? F why did you do this? Oh shit! Oh my god, I'm sweating. It smells. And if you guys don't know what this is, which most likely you don't, it's a Dominator from Psychopaths. Uh, Psychopaths is actually one of my favorite anime ever. My friends who are watching this who didn't like Psychopaths, you're wrong. Holy crap. Okay. Some of my foam just. <laughs> Whatever. And it doesn't stop there. We have a Unit 2 from End of Evangelion, which is a different design from the TV show. Make no mistake about that. I wonder if it comes with the removable arm. And we have a note. Thank you very much, Richard. I did enjoy the Soul of Chogokin Ava Unit 4 that you sent me before. This one is apparently the Kyoto Unit 2. Better to have a little more Ava in life, since at this rate, Ava 4.0 is never going to be released. Let's, uh, let, come on. Man of little faith. Hold on for a little longer. Hold on for a little longer. <laughs> I figured since we're all big boys, you need a big gun. Don't worry about it not being the transforming version. That's like thousand bucks or something. This is expensive enough and it looks amazing still. Thank you very much, Richard Moy from New Jersey. And thank you to everyone who sent me a package this month. So if you liked the video, guys, give it a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you want to contribute to next month's fail box, go ahead and send it to PO Box 3290 or California 90651. Can you even understand a word that I'm saying right now? I'm trying to snap my fingers, but I, I can't quite do it. <laughs> oh, 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 there it goes. That... I don't feel so good. This is for the thumbnail. You guys ready for some more tired Michael Bay jokes?